lie which no one could possibly believe but a born fool. With insolent effrontery, it brazenly proclaims its self-evident truth that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Rights which it thereupon proceeds to define in canting phraseology, imbecile and florid as it is false. The Declaration of Independence has less real meaning for present conditions than a bottled up Indian war whoop of the same period would have if uncorked now. It's a back number, musty, high smelling and worm eaten, only fit for the walls of a museum or the brain cells of a daft philosopher. It's ethical and most of its philosophical conclusions are shams, deceptions and cold blooded dishonesties, incandescent lies, glorified, belated, printed in letters of gold, but nevertheless, lies. Happy fucking 4th of July. We're in Milhouse. show with this fucking homo playing drums for us if he sucks feel free to attack him but try to be merciful because I'll be beating the shit out of him right after the set thanks to Mark for setting up the show Devola, Judas Doctor, Still Life and that other band for playing uh, I'll announce this later. This song's called Sleeping with the Enemy. Fucking Long Island boys didn't give him no awards. 
something. I know I'm upset about it. Very controversial topic. None of the bands touched on it tonight, but I'm going to come right out in the open and say it. This Puff Daddy Jimmy Page song. What the fuck? Puff Daddy, what's he doing to fucking music? You know, we were supposed to jam with him, but Wreckage wouldn't give us the fucking cash. So, we'll be doing a similar project with Tone Loke. The best we could do. So be on the lookout for that video. Oh, it's the first song on our last record. Nothing to do. July 8th. 
Maybe you want to postpone that big July 8th party and come to Deja One and see. Suck, suck, suck. Stay to seeds, ass suck, black army jacket, and a few other bands. Uh oh. Also, just give a shout out to my boys in Bauhaus, September 10th, Hammerstein Ballroom, represent. So you better watch out if you're smoking. Rob Fish is getting pretty fucking mad at you. He's gonna come get you like, like, like Ben Knight with a can of Silly Streak. He's gonna be fucking chasing after you, pelting you, balloons, prashadam, all that. No, actually, you should be afraid he's pretty fucking tall. It sucks being short. Almost as much as it sucks having a small dick. Right, Matt? about fucking sellouts. five weeks, and you may be surprised to learn, many Europeans are as stupid as Americans. Some even as dumb as some of you. Not many. This song is out to one of our few allies from the fatherland, Otto, came down to check us out. Oh my god. Wow, big one band clap for Otto. I said this song is out to Otto. I said Otto. Holy shit, do I know how to work a crowd. What's up? My name's Rick to Life. This song's called Keep It Real. Hey, cool. Yeah! 
less than 48 hours, we'll be leaving for a seven week tour of the United States. <laughs> Fuck you, too. United States and Canada. Yeah, Canada. And we'll be spreading the hardcore reality in such fucking important cities as Lincoln, Nebraska, and Vero Beach, Florida. <laughs> we'll also be playing a show in the hometown of some of our close, 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 close friends, One Life Crew. <laughs> and uh, hopefully they'll be out there supporting us, beat me up, whatever. <sighs> yeah, it's good to make friends and enemies in all parts of the world. Seems to be what I do best. Oh, I can't even keep track of what the hell's going on. So it's called Nazi Ghost. Oh, I want you to die! for a fucking Wednesday night. What the hell else would you be doing? Trying to still be cool watching South Park? All news, fucks. under the fucking impression that they know absolutely everything and every solution. People like some of my earlier friends in the hardcore scene that were devout Krishnas, devout straight edge people that fucking turned out to be in rehab for drug abuse fucking years later. People that were fucking Nazi skinheads at one point came out of the closet years later and debuted on fucking Geraldo. <laughs> These people People that go by extremes, people that don't know how to fucking moderate their own feelings, their own emotions, and their own thoughts, and temper them with the ability to fucking reason and have a sense of humor, are the people who are gonna fall prey to their own fucking dogma really quick. So this is for all of you. Hats off. This song's called Communion. Thank you. 
car. I played in front of a silent, confused crowd. It gives me the opportunity to talk, 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 talk. I want to talk about this last week at Coney Island High. But uh, I was overshadowed by a bunch of fucking nerds going, Fight war, not war, or fucking dressed up like frat boys singing crass songs. This fucking, this has to do with the fact that we are not here for your fucking entertainment. We are not part of your fucking show. If you're not here to contribute, if you're not here to actually be challenged and exchange ideas, if you're just here to fucking come to a show, buy a record, buy a t-shirt, go home, smoke a joint, go to bed, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Oh, so, so that's to all the inactivity because it's a fucking fine place to thrive. Soul School versus Six Caliber. fucking unamused as you are, so this is our last song. Goes out to the people who, and all the bands who play tonight, even though you might not like them, it's very likely they're doing more than you are. Still Life, Judas Factor, Devola, and uh, who's going on next, Trip Ace? Whatever. Oh my god, I mean, <laughs> this, this, is, this is the word. No one ever comes out to run down Fuck it down! Fuck it down! Fuck it down! 